Welcome. Glad you tune in for the fifth episode of our Sustainability Knowledge Center. Today, we'll talk about the integration of climate-related aspects on investment decision-making. Climate risks, such as severe weather events or carbon pricing, but also opportunities like renewable energy sources are on the rise. But how exactly do we measure the financial impact of these risks and opportunities on organizations and our portfolios? To find out, we first need to define what these risks and opportunities are. Climate-related risks can be straightforward and physical in nature, like the acute risk of floods or wildfires threatening your assets. Furthermore, long-term effects like droughts resulting from shifts in climate patterns can eventually cause resource scarcity. We call these chronic risks. But what about the risks inherent to the transition itself? When an energy company burns fossil fuels in Europe, it pays for the gases it emits. But when an ambitious government wants to reduce those emissions, it will limit the emissions allowances, increasing their prices and making an impact on the financials of that company. As different stakeholders are becoming increasingly aware of the issue, these risks are quickly becoming an integral part of the business. Hence the fiduciary duty of investors to integrate them. Climate savvy customers and consumers are likely to prefer low carbon alternatives, creating a market risk as well as a reputation risk for lagging companies. Luckily, every risk can also create a significant opportunity for agile companies that are better positioned for the energy transition. Innovators offering low carbon improvements have a competitive advantage, given their higher energy efficiency and ability to better anticipate consequences such as carbon pricing. So how do you assess exposure to these risks and opportunities and measure the resilience of your portfolio? Both risks and opportunities are impacted by the speed and focus of the transition. Since the exact impact of policy-based measures are uncertain, the assessment of exposure to these risks can be quite complex. One way of measuring the impact of exposure to carbon is through projecting past emissions data of companies in the portfolio. A second way to help investors make better informed investment decisions can be to align those portfolios with climate change scenarios. Both options present their own up and down sides. By assessing the carbon intensity of the portfolio and by exploring different climate change scenarios, investors can not only analyze but also tilt their portfolios to support the energy transition and steer away from the business as usual approach that squares off against sustainable investing. With several companies already offering dedicated solutions for a more energy efficient, low carbon economy, Investors can, instead of focusing on the risks, profit from attractive investment opportunities starting today. 